obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate the FSI method for water turbine. The present study investigates the water flow around a vertical water turbine considering unsteady CFD simulation. In the present case, it is assumed that the turbine blades are affected by the flow of passing fluid, that is, the fluid flowing through the turbine blades impedes forces on the turbine body, and these forces cause deformation or resizing of the body of these blades. Therefore, the present problem consists of two fluid and solid solution at the same time and hence the FSI method and the coupling between the fluid flow and the transient structure are used. Also, the moving mesh technique should be applied to make an instantaneous changes to the mesh structure. The present 3D model was designed by Design Modeler Software. The geometry of the model consists of a large cubic space as a fluid domain and a water turbine inside this space as the solid domain. The unstructured mesh was carried out by ANSYS meshing software and the element number is equal to 523,202. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluid software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. Now if you expand the fluid under the material section, you can see that the water liquid material has been added to the fluid software. In order to add a new material, all you have to do is to right click and then click on new. And if you click on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit button, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for its boundary. Now in the appear window in front of the velocity magnitude, you can see the velocity of the water liquid flow entering our computational domain through this boundary. And for this wall boundary, if you click on edit button in the appear window, you can see that a stationary wall motion along with no slip shear condition are defined for this wall. And for this wall boundary, if you click on edit button in the appear window, you can see that a stationary wall motion along with no slip shear condition are defined for this wall. After that, if you click on Meshing Options tab, you can see that the cell height value is equal to 0 0.2, which is just a reference value of the main size for each of our mesh cells. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now, in the workbench environment, we click on Transient Structural and drag it next to the Fluent Software block in order to add the mechanical liquidial software. After that, we click on System Couplings and also drag it next to the Transient Structural block in order to couple these two softwares. After that, we we'll link the geometry from the Fluent block to the model from the Transient Structural block and we we'll link the setup of both Fluent software and Mechanical Epidial software to the System Coupling setup. Now in the appeared window, you can see that a steel material is selected to be the material of the solid object in our computational domain. Now in order to add a new material, you have to just click beneath it, and hence you will be able to add a new material. Now after finishing the settings for the mechanical APDL software, we double click on the setup button 
under the system coupling block. And as was mentioned in the previous slide, uh, you can see here that if you click on data transfer 2, you can see the reciprocating relation between the fluent software and the mechanical APDR as we have exported the force variable from the fluent software to the mechanical APDO. After that, on the low left side of the software window, in front of the location, we select our blade, which is the solid object, and in front of the variable, we select pressure as our desired variable. After that, we click on apply, and the software will show us the pressure distribution on the solid object or the blade. Now, in this slide, you can easily see the pressure distribution on the surface of the solid object, which is also known as the blade. After defining the plane, we double click on the contours button and then in front of the location we select our defined plane and underneath it in front of the variable section we for example select velocity. After that we click on apply and the software will show us this 2D contour. And then in front of the surfaces section we select our defined plane and then we click on apply. After doing that, we right click on total deformation results and then select evaluate all results and the software will show us the predefined results. And finally, in this slide, you can easily see the changes in the position of the solid object. You can also see the changes in the deformation of each of the blades of the object. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.